So you're just not feeling that short hair or thinning hair. Well, that's what wigs are for. And that's why I absolutely love them. When you want something that's just going to brighten you, is going to give you some youthfulness back, whatever your reason for it, hair loss, thinning hair, wigs are a great accessory. So today's accessory that we're gonna try on is from Ellen Villa and it is called Elite. It's a really pretty silver mix. Get this here, because I have daylight coming in on this. So really pretty. And it's a left mono part, and it has a lace front temple to temple. I'm just combing out that zigzag part. Okay, and let's get it on. Like there you can see, wefted on the top, open wefting on the back. It has Velcro adjusters, Belvedere tabs, and a left mono part. So let's grab it by the back, pull it down. When you put it on, it's always going to be up against your forehead, and you're going to need to move it back. So grab those ear tabs. I sometimes just grab it here at the top and slide it up. So I did find that this wig does like to come forward. So I'm going to, we're gonna work with it a little bit to find the right part for it on that left mono part and then work with it to stay back. Sometimes when you get a wig, they don't come right out of the box, just boom. This one came and it does come forward. So if you're wanting more a swept look, Great. Really pretty. Let's take a look at the side. The back. But this might be, I know a lot of people say that just really bothers me because I'm constantly trying to get it on my face. Okay, so let's change the part up maybe a little bit. Have more of it going to that side. And remember that I told you it has that lace front, see? Great lace, lace right there to give it a natural look. So you really can pull it back. And over here, too. And then as you can see, as you start to comb it and work with it, you train your wig to go where you want it to go. Now, I like to use water. This is synthetic, so you can't use heating tools on this. You could wet it and use a hair dryer just right here on the front or I have an air curling brush that shoots out hot air so I can really control the amount of heat and if I lay it down right here it's going to really make that set to make that hair stay back better. But you see that just using the heat from my hand, that too really can start to train the hairs that have been tied into this laced area to go in that direction. Because that's the thing, it's tied in and the hair is going in one direction. And so you almost have to work with it at where it's tied into the silk to get it to want to lay back the opposite direction. But look at that, isn't that pretty? I think this is such a great bob. I really like the cut. It's kind of like a precision cut. I like these flips, I like where it hits on my neck. And let's look at this silver mix, which means it has a brown base, silvers and platinums, very much like my own hair color. So again, a great tip I would suggest that when you're buying a wig, go with something, your first wigs, with something that's as close to your bio color as possible, cause it's gonna fool more people and they're gonna be trying to guess. Wasn't her hair different the other day? Well, that's what my neighbors think when they see me every day walking out of the house with a different wig, right? Who's that? <laughs> 
I'm sure we have, me and my husband have caused many a conversation of all the different women that my husband has coming in this house. Okay, so again, this is called Elite from Ellen Villa in the color Silver Mix. And I think she's a real beauty for, and I think she's a good density. She's light density. And I think it's a great density for one of your first wigs. If you're looking for a left part, this is a good one. A little training, get that go where you want it to go. And, or if you want it to be more of a swept look, you've got that too. If you want it to be full, then just get your hands in there, maybe some wax spray and really pump up the volume. So, so you can really get your fingers in there and get a whole different, maybe modern look, looser, fuller, and just like that, it's a whole different look. So you're going to want to make wigs your own or you're going to make them look different every time you're wearing it. So I think this is a good one with wearing clips, headbands, scarves. There's a lot you can do with the bob. And I think she is really super cute. Check her out. Links below. Doing my darlings. Bye.